welcome to life of oxy thank you guys for stopping by my channel i'm very happy to see you here supporting me very appreciate every each and one of you today is friday but you guys are gonna see this video on tuesday um we're not gonna be doing much we actually got invited to our friend's house so we're gonna go there for dinner and then i want to go to a couple stores with my daughter to pick something up to go take with me i was told not to bring anything but me is me i want to bring something so i might do a video of what i'm bringing i'm gonna prep it but i need to see what the stores have first so i'm not gonna say if it is happening or not also i made a dish yesterday for the first time it's a cauliflower cajun seasoning shrimp and polish kibasi it came out amazing we liked it all today actually i want to check if it's one of the meals if you can reheat it and they still taste good or if it's the meal that you gotta eat right there and then and forget about it i'm <laughs> just kidding but yeah so i'm gonna reheat it today and let you guys know how it is i'm gonna post a video of me making it and then kind of like a friday day so enjoy thank you for stopping by please like and subscribe have a nice day and these are the ingredients that we're gonna need for our cauliflower dish two white large bags they are frozen cauliflower and you will need a dutch oven you grab that put it on the stove on medium heat put two tablespoons of avocado oil dice your onion dice your sweet pepper and dice your celery you add that all to the pot and wait for it to soften up about five minutes While the vegetables are hanging in the pot, we're going to take our Polish kibasi, thinly slice it, and add it to the pot. After the sausage has been cooked for about 5 minutes, you make a well inside and add the garlic. I use the one out of the jar, one big hipping spoon. Go garlic or go home in Ukrainian family. Now you add your frozen cauliflower, diced tomatoes, and one fourth cup of chicken broth. Make sure everything's all mixed in, and then you add the shrimp. After the shrimp is all mixed in, increase the heat to high to bring it to a simmer. Then continue to simmer uncovered, stirring occasionally. And now we're gonna grab our Cajun seasoning, one big tablespoon and mix that in. Then add some salt, I added about one teaspoon and a little bit of pepper. Don't forget to mix, mix, mix. Once cauliflower is nice and tender you, and the shrimp is cooked, you add it to the bowl, garnish it with parsley, and try it. Also, we reheated it two days after and it was tasty. And we're on to a new day. This is a great activity for toddlers. Uh, just make sure you give actual spaghetti, not the angel hair like I did because it kept breaking, but she still enjoyed that activity, so she's occupied. So we're going to make still cut oats for brunch. We use one and a half cup of almond milk this one had vanilla flavor um, if you have plain add vanilla because it really does make a difference in oatmeal and a dash of salt and you cover that with the lid and wait for it to boil while that's on the stove you're gonna peel an apple and dice it and once the almond milk starts boiling you add the oats that's the ones i use i got them at aldi and just make sure you don't forget to mix them throughout the whole process Once the milk evaporated halfway, you're gonna add half a teaspoon of cinnamon. The smell in the house is just magical. And don't forget to mix, mix, mix. And then you take your diced apples and mix them and make sure they're well incorporated. After everything is all incorporated, you just cook another five minutes. I think every mom's cooking goes exactly like this, just like this. There's no other way to go. When it's about to be done, you cover it with the lid, put the low setting on your stove and wait a couple minutes. After that, put it in a plate. You can add 
maple syrup, honey and walnuts, extra berries, whatever you really like. Enjoy. And this is Mama's brunch. So we're gonna take a sweet potato that I baked. I baked it whole, 370 degrees, 45 minutes. You cut it in half, I kind of diced it. And then I added a spoon of hummus. This is garlic flavor, you can use any you like. Half an avocado and a grilled salmon that I grilled in my Ninja a couple days ago. This salmon is a great even couple days after you make it. Enjoy. Oh, also don't forget to add some pumpkin seeds. It's just extra flavor. Hello again. So we're back from shopping. We went to Aki. I'm going to make a charcuterie board. Is that the right way to say? Board. And then I got some flowers, some Aki as well. Look at these beautiful roses. Aren't they gorgeous? So we're going to... And then we went to Aldi. We got parsley. There was some salad. Raspberries. Who doesn't love raspberries these days? Some grapes. Still cut oats. Actually, I'm gonna have a recipe, I think, for breakfast for my daughter. This guada cheese. It's the only cheese that my daughter eats. I don't know what's in it. The only one she eats. This trail mix is really good, actually. I was surprised because sometimes I got nuts from Aldi and they weren't fresh. These ones are actually really good. And then I got brie cheese, Hawardi cheese, olives, sea salt cashews covered in dark chocolate, and then some apples, bananas, tomatoes. This is the first time I saw these crackers that by Mary's, they're organic. And I like their ingredients. It's brown rice, kiwa, flax seeds, sesame seeds, um, tamari, sea salt. Looked very good. We'll try it. Um, it's not super duper low carb. It's only like it has 17 grams of net carbs. So just if you're super low carb like me, these are my crackers. It has one gram per serving that's how i go then i love dates that's the one thing i will give myself into and there's so many health benefits from them so i have like two a day with my trail mix snack this i love so much if you like prosciutto you will like this so i got this jam mix is that what it's called yes and I'm actually gonna open it because I'm gonna use one for the board. They have this jam. It's pear and cinnamon. It's amazing with brie cheese. It actually says here that it goes with brie cheese and I have not found it anywhere on sale by itself. So it's amazing. But also, since it's like in a little package, these are great for Christmas gifts if you guys trying to find I am gonna make a video I think I hope I'll have time so this one has pear and cinnamon fig and honey cherry and rosemary and apricot and cumin and it tells you which cheese it goes with best they did not lie 100% true I bought it last year and then I couldn't find it and this year I bought two packs because I like it that much oh so now this cheese, masquerade, masquerade, mango. It has mango and ginger and with white stilton cheese. Excuse my pronunciation, I'm not that great. I'm just gonna put it here. It's really good. It's like sweet and salty at the same time. And then we have water cheese and baby dill pickles. And one more thing of this. Um, this is what we got and I'll show you how I make the board. So when I make a board, first thing I do is I clean my produce. This is Thieves Fruit and Vegetable Cleaner. You put a cap in that bowl, fill it up with water and soak all the produce in it. Now we're going to go to the board. We're going to wipe it clean, make sure you wipe it. And then I use some parchment paper or wax paper on the bottom. I don't know. I just feel weird with everything on it. I feel like everything has different flavor and it gets sucked on the board. And then if I put something sweet 
it'll taste like salami i don't know my personal opinion but then you take that masquerade cheese if you're slavic it's kind of has like a farm cheese texture with mango and ginger in it it's really good and then we're gonna take brie we're gonna cut it in half and little triangles and of course we have my pear jam it's just like a special sauce to a dish you have to have it then you're gonna take brie that you cut in triangles that kind of lay on top of each other like you take a brie and then halfway put another one and halfway put another one and kind of lay it out in any directions you really like also do not be afraid to move things around if you don't like something move it now I stock the produce, you're gonna take it out and make sure you rinse it for about a minute or two. Now I'm gonna take my little dessert cup. I got them actually at Dollar Tree and put my trail mix on it, any way you like. And some fig jam. And now we're gonna take smoked ham, lay it out horizontally next to the brie cheese. Now we take the salami, we fold them in half and place them one horizontally, one vertically and you pile them on top of each other. And then you take another salami, you do half and another half, like a little mini triangles and you place them one straight and one sideways towards you or away from you, whatever you like and you kind of pile them together as well. Next we'll be making a bigger roast, so you take a glass and you place salami across from each other and you just keep piling it up till you're happy with the size. Also, I figured out the trick is the smaller the glass, the better the roast. It comes out more put together, a little tighter. This is the smallest one I found at the moment, but I think I have a smaller one. Also, we're going to make like a mini roast. So you take three salamis, fold them in half and kind of put on top of each other halfway. So you take one and then horizontally halfway put another one and another one and then you roll it and then you got a little mini rose how cute are they also i've seen videos where people to put them on a toothpick with a cherry tomato and a little basil it's cute but we have kids in our gathering and i did not want to place any toothpicks there going to take some guada cheese cut it in half and slice it this specific one is spicy it has like a little scorpio on it just an fyi i did not see when i was buying it but we like spicy stuff so it's all good gonna take some Hawardi cheese and slice it up as well and I'll take regular non-spicy guada and just cut it up I'm not sure if you guys saw this new trend, but you take a dip and put it right on the board. So let's say cream cheese and salmon, you put right on the board and then you take a bagel and you kind of scrape it off. And then my thing is, how do you clean that board? Doesn't that board smell like salmon? Like, I don't know. What if I want to use a sweet spread next time? I don't like that idea at all. What about you? And then the guada cheese, I kind of place like you would place a braid. You take diagonally one direction and then you put another one diagonally the other direction over it. 
really there is no rule you can place any way you like and it's time for the grapes what's a board without a grape you know it's just something i don't know that's what makes a board a board right one thing is i go to the restaurants and they don't wipe their produce off and i don't know how i feel about it, it does not look too good and we're gonna take those mary's crackers and just place them anywhere you see that's suitable And we're also going to take some dates and place that on the board next to the crackers. And we're going to take some parm cheese, place it on the board as well. There are also great snacks for kids. We're also going to add some cherry tomatoes. Like I said, there's really no rule. You can add anything you like. Just make sure color-wise it looks somewhat good. Then we're going to take another plastic cup and just put some olives in it and you place it on the board in a cup. At this point, I did not like how my guada braid looked, so I decided to fix it. Also, you want to move your board kind of around and check it from different kind of directions so you can see how it looks from the other side of the table, let's say. I personally love the boards, not everybody likes them, but I think they're great if you have unexpected guests or just a little centerpiece. I love them. In the comment, how do boards make you feel? Do you like them? And this is time for chocolate covered cashews. They were really good actually, I really like them. Adding some raspberries. Now let's get these flowers situated. These eucalyptus smell so good, my whole house smells magical. My personal opinion, there's something special about flowers. God is so amazing with creating these kind of beauties. I feel like they're beautify my whole house. If you're ever a Cherry Crest Farm, make sure you get these candles. They're very good quality and I've heard from a couple people that you don't get migraines from them. Time for a little tea party. This is how I mix my Thieves Cleaner. I fill up 16 ounce water bottle with water and leave a little bit of room. You take a cup of Thieves Cleaner and you add that in. Just because I spilled a little bit, I added a little bit more, just like a splash. And then you add peppermint oil from Young Living and it smells like Christmas. Then you close the bottle and you shake, shake, shake. I love to add flowers to my boards. I don't know, they just it's just like a little special touch. It just beautifies it.
And here we are, all done. Please like and subscribe. Enjoy.